left, right. That has got to be correct. It's not possible that that's not correct. I switched the mics. This is a Soundman DE with the two mics. I switched them. This has got to be right. Let me move this a little bit. Left, right. Um, I'm going to go quickly. This is going to be, oh, hey, the QDC Neptunes. But a hundred people asked me about this, or one person asked me a hundred times. I, I'm going to figure that out. Got them. I uh, got a bunch of stuff. There's the Felix. That's out because the X Duo. Let me tell you a story of stupidity. Or I don't know what it is, but I'm going to tell it because it could be stupidity, and I want to, I want to bear my soul to you. I um I took, I did it during the daytime so it would have better light, and it's in a big box. I put it on the Hawaiian table and I opened it up, and then I pulled out the box and I showed the tubes, and then I pulled out the other box and I showed the power, and I pulled out the other box and I showed the, like uh brackets to protect from hitting the tubes and stop and then I took the the X duo out start and rotate it take a look at the back interconnects take a look at the front stop put it on the table start put the tubes in boom one two three stop plug it in plug it in to the PC turn it on did a little video just a real short one of, of it because it glows quick and there's it looked fucking gorgeous Windows recognized it immediately it was, there was no problem with that and uh, I listened to a, one song Aerosmith No More No More DSD was playing it and uh, I thought, while I'm listening to it and looking at it and just mesmerized by the glow, I thought, if I walked over to the tripod that's still over there right now and I did a shot this way, turn off these track lights, just let the monitor and the computer glow, and, you know, Tupac and the Pink Floyd poster will get lit up a little bit, just, just a subtle, and then this thing glowing like a champ, take a little short 10-second no 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 sound nothing just just a money shot so i walk over to the tripod and as i'm walking away pat pick kick pop 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 and i walk over and this thing's putting on a 4th of july display and i'm like what the fuck 5z3p made in china um and i leaned over to turn the pop and i could already smell there's there's nothing it was working. It was playing music. And I thought, don't tell this story because you look stupid. No, nah, I... Whatever. That that too... The Felix works fine. It's the same RCA cables. It's all, it's hooked up the same way the X-Duo was. And then that thing put on a 4th of July display. What in the fuck? Anyway. This, this whole desk area is created so that I could do like that. Minus the 4th of July display. And that was like, I'm looking at that and thinking, this is why I did this. And and it turned into a disaster, but it's not going to really change anything. I'm, I'm an IEM guy, but I'm going to be doing headphones like maybe once a week because I, I love audio. I got to explain to you guys because you guys know I have OCD and kind of like Asperger's, so I got to tell you. Music is, when I hear a song, like some of you out there, I a video plays in my brain. Like I remember being, my mother passed away. I'm going to give you guys TMI, too much information, but... I think you should know your reviewer because you guys spend money based on what I say. Music is huge to me because I don't have a father. I don't have brothers or sisters. My mother passed away when she was 50 from cancer. And she was a big music lover. And she had uh, animals. And she had Dark Side of the Moon, that version right there, UK Harvest version. She had Peter Frampton. She had Cheap Trick. She had Jay Giles. She had The Rolling Stones. She had all of the 70s she had van halen man my mother was cool she she was into music i remember you know that song by paul simon or simon Garfield? i think it's paul simon 50 ways 50 ways to leave you love her i remember sitting in a car too small to see out the windshield or the side window that's how small i was but i could look at my mother and i remember looking at her while that was playing so every time i hear that song i remember looking at my mother she was young she must have been about 25 because I was about five. So she had me when she was 20 years old and the little kid, blonde hair, looking at mom with her hair blowing, arm out the window, listening to 
Paul Simon having a good old time. So when I listen to music, especially this old 70s stuff, I'm, I'm, I'm reliving my youth and remembering my mother. And I, I'm a music lover, maybe rooted in that. I'm a bass head because I, my mother took, my mother's mother played for Arthur Fiedler, um, the Boston Symphony Orchestra, the Boston Pops. He's a, you can, if you, you know classical music, you might know who Arthur Fiedler is. My mother's mother played cello um, f in the orchestra for Arthur Fiedler. And she took me to the Boston Esplanade, the, the half shell, to see the 4th of July show one time. And uh, if you've ever been to a, a full orchestra, the sound out of a half shell, you can feel it go through your body. It's it's a it's like it's hard to explain, man. Um, being a small child and having the music travel through my body, like I could feel it wasn't an ear audio thing; it was an ear body thing. I could feel it in my solar plexus. I could feel the, the music. So as I grew up into eighteen, nineteen, and started to get in a car audio, the feeling of bass traveling through my body was not unlike what I felt as a child. So. Vivaldi, Tchaikovsky, Verdi. I told you before that the Italian composers, and uh, I like the waltz by Tchaikovsky, but I don't generally listen. But that that moment of the explosion of sound out of a half shell blew my brains as a kid. Never let that go. Music is music is everything to me. Um, so I talk about music. The reason I'm going to do headphone reviews is because I look around on YouTube, and this is not a shot. This is not a dig other people do it differently and I OCD and Asperg on the music because that's how my brain works and because I so deeply deeply love music that describing other people describe gear and then talk about music I mostly talk about music so that's that's my good point my bad point I guess if you're the gear maker and you want to see it more so that's kind of a little bit of who I am just so you know um, and this was really important for me to set up and, and people said, oh, you know, you bite in Z because of using the head. I, I don't know if I could do this with a tripod and get my arm around it like I tried to do. I would do it. This is really, he's just smart. That's the best way to do it. I can touch the gear. Nothing, nothing's in my way. It's, it's brilliant. So props to him. Um, emulation is sincerest form of flattery. Is it, is it not? I'm, I'm, so I don't need to say any more than that. Um. Why are these here? Because I want to give a shout out. Somebody said, uh, you know, shouting out fast and clean or critical. That's real cool. Mm. Thanks. M love Microsoft. Um, not really. This is a place called Super Audio Best Friends or Super. Let me look at the Super Best Audio Friends. Okay. Got that wrong. Sorry. And this is called the Super DuPont Resonator. I got the HD800s because if you lived in Japan and then you went back to to America, you know that about five years ago and f maybe for 10 years prior, if you went to any audio shop in Japan, any audio otaku haven, they would have a Woo Audio tube set up with the HD800s. And I listened to the HD800s and my impression was that it was like listening to a jazz quartet in an empty Madison Square Garden dead center where they would put the boxing ring with nobody there just way too much space for something that should be intimate that's what I thought every time I heard that and they always played a lot of the same music sometimes I jacked into my own stuff but everything sounded super huge and I went to a audio shop from a person that used to be a Sony engineer and he said that you know there's modifications that you can do for that and change the pads and so I got Dakoni pads on it this is just a there were so many audio files that looked at other people and said oh you know look at my these are like three four hundred bucks now you can get these without a problem this is from some Japanese audio file I bought these second hand for like four hundred bucks with the Dakoni pads and with this this is called the Super DuPont Resonator I think I just killed like two minutes without getting to the point. I, I want to say that when my girl got this in the mail, she opened up an envelope and this was in, and she sent me a mail and she said, I'm really, really scared. I think somebody sent me something and it might be really bad. 
And I was like, what the fuck are you talking about? Take a picture of it. And she showed up. She said, I'm going to throw it out. And I, was, I, I called her. I was like, don't, th don't throw that out. Don't throw that out. That's a dude from France or Europe that is Soroje. And he makes this Super DuPont Resonator. I sent him PayPal and sent him a little bit extra for shipping. And he actually sent back PayPal money. He was like, no, no, you paid way too much. I, I'm sent back some money. So this dude is solid. You take this and you put this in. What is the difference between the HD800S and this? They tamed the 6K peak and they did it by using a, a resonator pretty much. And right in the middle, right above the dome. And some smart people like on this place figured we can we could do that and and they did these sound with the Taconi pads because I'm getting a better seal and with this inserted thank you very much so if anybody know who this is please tell them I gave a shout out uh, these sound nice this cable is like a electrician's cable from 1955 like if I had a power drill this would be the cable for it this is just the ugliest piece of garbage ever I got to upgrade this don't even want to look at it it doesn't match anything in my life holy crap um so i'm gonna have to get a cable for this why well, have this symbolic so many so many people had it before and said no this is what nobody talks about this now but this was what everybody talked about a long time ago like this is what it is this is audiophile no it's not audiophile is loving music I don't the autophile term is am I an autophile I'm a music lover this with a little bit of correction at 6k and a better seal on the ear actually sounds nice to me the mids sound fantastic that frequency response I wish it had bass like that that doesn't quite I think it's trying to be you know this the, the peak adjustment so that's cool anyway this dude right here Soro J took care of me really good this came scared the crap out of my girl she thought she was getting some kind of poison sent to her and almost threw it in the garbage luckily i got on to her and got her don't throw that out please what are you doing but then i looked at it and i thought yeah if i got this in the mail and i had no idea what it was i think i'd be like whoa 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 watch the hands check my mail do i have any warnings coming in so thank you to dude you were absolutely solid. You replied quickly. You sent it quickly. You sent the PayPal extra stuff that you could have kept, and I would have had no problem with it. You returned it to me. Solid dude. I'm going to review these slightly modified HD800s later on down the road um, because why not? I've, I've never seen anybody do a review of these using music only. So even though I'm super, super late to the show, I'm going to do it my way, so it'll still be kind of a first for YouTube, I think. I don't know. Um, anything else? I got the Neptunes because people ask me, 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 ask me. Can you try the Neptunes? Can you try the... I got them. I'll do that. I got a bunch of stuff to do. Um, I'm just putting this up because today turned into a disaster because of, because of Mr. Fourth of July here's the thing if I plug this if I got if I got the tube seated correctly and I did and everything works fine and I plug it in and it actually is recognized by Windows and I actually listen to music with it and I'm doing that for a few minutes what could possibly be the problem that would stimulate after five minutes when this thing fully heats up or something it starts arcing and going fourth of July on me that's an honest question. If anybody knows the answer, please let me know so that I don't. I don't know. Um, so t too much information, but I I think it's important. Uh, you guys listen to me and make purchases, and sometimes you're pleased, and sometimes you're pissed. It's never going to change. It's always going to be like that. But I'm always going to use music to explain why I think so. And I, I look around today. I made a point to look around, and I know that's that's a, a hole in the headphone game. Uh, for IEMs, I've already been doing it, but I can do this with headphones too. Music-based reviews, not not gear, not technical jargon, anything else. If 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 this is not playing a kick drum or a sub bass hit, I'll be able to explain that with music. If this is giving me fatigue. 
uh, because of uh, sibilance or something. I can tell you the exact track. You can go follow that. So for people that got OCD, if you're into headphones and you'd be like, I wish that dude did headphones. Uh, I, I'm there, man. I have arrived. So thank you for your patience. If I am people. Don't worry. That's that's my bread and butter. That's what I'll be doing. As a matter of fact, tomorrow will be an I am video. But headphones are coming. I've got several on my left side. Some good ones too. So stay tuned. I put these in here just because uh, this guy, the super resonator dude, was just so so chill. My image of headphones is snob people, and this guy is like. At Snobville was my image of super best audio friends, and that he turned out to be one of the nicest people I've never met, like like a person I've met. You know what I'm saying? I sent this dude money, extra, about forty bucks, no big deal. Just keep it. You're you're in Europe. I'm I'm contacting you. I don't know how long since you've been doing this. I really want to make this sound just a little bit better. You did everything perfect, and then you PayPal the money back to me. The fuck. Thank you very much, man. You, sir, are a very good man. You're good for the hobby. Anybody want some help? Anybody got the HD800s and want to tame that just a little bit? It was a very, very easy modification, and I can hear it because I got OCD. It makes a difference. But the Dakoni pads, maybe that helps too. So I'm out. Left, right. That's the only thing that went right today. And I'm... Touching the top of this and making acoustic sounds.